Hello everyone, it's Alanis again, and today we're going to talk about alphabet soup. Actually, we're going to talk about acronyms and some that relate to trans, um, gay rights, and other um, social justice issues. So, first one I'm going to mention is a TERF, T-E-R-F. It stands for a Trans Exclusive Radical Feminist. What that means is they are people who consider they are feminists who consider trans people as still being men, trying to approach on, encroach on um, women's spaces. They don't believe trans men are trans women are women, but instead men, and often they have a couple weird ideas about them. The reason I'm bringing them up today is because one of them took a picture of me that I had when I was out with my daughter and not quite dressed femme and posted it on a website talking about how I was a fake trans person which is a little weird considering they don't think anyone's a real trans person but making fun of me for being a guy but that's my experience with them so far I've read more articles about them and read a lot of posts from them um, one of the things to talk about is how they identify someone like that's a TERF oftentimes Sometimes they'll call themselves TERFs, TERFs taking a um, name for themselves, but other times they'll be a little bit more subtle. Uh, sometimes they'll use the term male exclusively to refer to men. They won't call them men, but they'll always call them males. Another clue might be them spelling the word women, W-O-M-Y-N. Now, so there are some other feminists who use that and who are not trans exclusive so that's not a sure sign but if you see that it might be someone you want to be careful about reblogging or supporting uh, I've got a couple of um, one of the things they uh, feminist trans terps like to claim is that um, trans women are men trying to get lesbians to have sex with them it's wrong on a couple of things. One, not all trans women are lesbians. Some are straight. Two, not every trans woman has a penis. Um, the real main claim is that they're wanting lesbians to have sex with a penis, but not every trans woman has a penis. Some have gone through surgery. Three, I won't say there's no one out there because we have ever group has there are a couple people who are way out on the fringes but generally if you are trans and you're dating someone you're not going to want someone who's not going to want a penis uh, it's scary to go out dating and the f idea of going into sex and not telling the person what you have down there and surprising them generally isn't something a trans person is going to do I do know some that will um, never say that, well, won't say that they were uh, born with male genitalia after they've had a surgery, but I generally don't know any trans people or heard of any trans people who decided to have sex with someone and did not warn a partner ahead of time. And so generally, trans women who are lesbians are not trying to convince lesbians to have sex with a penis if their penis repulsed. I had a couple of weird stories about um, TERFs. One of them was I saw a long post on Tumblr and it was about a woman who was a TERF and she was talking about the one time she had clocked a trans person. Clocked is a term sometimes used when you um, identify someone who's trans generally without them wanting to know you're trans. She said that she had um, clocked a trans person because the person didn't know how to cook quesadillas. And apparently knowing how to cook quesadillas is something every natural born woman is able to do. That was a bit of a weird story. Another one I read was there was a woman who was looking for a ride to a woman's fest and she had someone offer to give her a ride and let her stay in her hotel room. So this lady gave her a ride to the fest and gave her a free hotel room, didn't charge her anything, but did not have the, the 
she had the audacity not to tell her that she was trans. So this woman who got a free ride, free hotel room, separate beds, never once was exposed to any genitalia, spent a long time complaining about how she had to spend time with a man, which wasn't quite true. Next topic I want to talk about is a swerve. Sex worker exclusive radical feminist. Now, uh, a swerf is someone who has decided that sex workers cannot be doing sex on their own vibe, on their own will. They sometimes will believe that um, there can be no such thing as the sex done for money or services, and it be voluntarily voluntary. They say that the transaction takes away consent. Or they'll often say that um, that the porn is not something that any woman can do and still be good about. Uh, just to clarify my position, I believe that women have the choice to do what they want to do. And I fully support sex workers. Oftentimes, worse will use um, excuses such as that um, if you allow the sex industry, it will allow child um, trafficking. And they tend to ignore that there's going to be child trafficking, whether there's legal or illegal sex work. They also um, point out the fact that there are in the sex industry, especially in the porn, and also uh, full full-service sex workers, that's the term preferred over prostitutes. They also note that full-service sex, full sex workers uh, will get raped or abused, or in the porn industry they can get taken advantage of, and state that because these things happen in the industry, it means it's a bad industry. They tend to look over the fact that every industry has a bad side to it. If you look at the clothing industry, if you go look in the shops in China, India, you'll find people who are underage working for a very minimum amount of money, sometimes chained to their tables. But no one is su suggesting that we get rid of the clothing industry altogether and instead make reforms to it. Typically, TERFs want to get rid of the whole, and not TERFs, worse, want to get rid of the whole industry. Uh, what is also curious about them is oftentimes the people who are saying that women are not, cannot have body autonomy to uh, be a sex worker are the same women who will say that uh, women have the body autonomy to have an abortion. It's a split of the hair which I don't understand. I believe a woman can do both of them. What really gets bad with swerfs is when they start um, trying to get laws passed, and there's been a couple of laws that have been passed that have caused some issues. They oftentimes will try to make um, the job of being a sex worker illegal, and this is dangerous for women because women will have to then hide in the shadows to do their work, and I don't just mean they're always in the dark, but you know, they will have to they have to, it makes their jobs illegal, which means they're more likely to get victimized. They sometimes will ask for that instead of punishing the women, they just punish the clients. But again, that pushes their job towards border illegality. And again, it's the sex workers who um, will suffer. If their clients are always going to be arrested, then they're going to have to work in places where they can't be openly sex workers. And again, that puts them out in the shadows where they can get abused. They do the same thing with the advertising, saying that uh, they try to make laws against sex workers advertising in different uh, mediums, which again then means that the sex workers have to advertise outside of what's norm, and it again puts them at risk. And it sometimes will get, they will make laws, especially anti-trafficking law, trafficking laws that make no sense, like to they will 
try making a law that will punish anyone that takes a sex worker to or back from their job, um, declaring them a pimp. So if you have a full service sex worker who is married and her husband gives her or his husband gives them a ride and drops them off at their place of business and then picks them up, they're now considered a pimp and are possibly able to be sent to jail for what they did. Again, it puts people at risk and basically a lot of the laws passed by swerves who are trying to say they are protecting women end up hurting women and other sex workers of different gender. Why I mentioned this with my trans video is because 13% of trans people have reported that they have done sex work to help make it along. I might do a video later to talk about some of the difficulties trans people face in employment and receiving help, but oftentimes trans sex work is a way for um, trans people to be able to get through life. Now this third one isn't quite related to um, trans people or even LGBT QAIA, but instead it's a one that I've seen a lot and I'm sort of interested in. It's called an MRA. That stands for Men's Right Ad Activist. Well that doesn't sound bad. What it sounds like is you know men wanting equal custody for their children in a divorce men wanting equal rights, um, getting fair representation at court, men standing up for other men who are gay, men standing up for minorities who are men. But that's generally not what it means. Typically what they do is they argue about the fact that they should be able to beat women if they get hit by a woman, ignoring the fact that the the law does not say you cannot beat a woman if you're being hurt. You can hurt someone in self-defense, even if it is a woman. They're often, instead of supporting gay men and um, minorities, they're often there's a, sub, a good, big subset of them that also cross into the homophobic and racist territory. The Venn diagrams, instead of being like this, generally like this when you look at them. And oftentimes they will often promote legal uh, violence against the legal system, arguing that courts and other places where they've been subject to um, what they claim is um, prejudice against men should be turned over. A good site, to, if you ever want to read about these kind of people, is it's called, used to be called Man Boobs, but it's now known as We Hunted the Mammoth. And I'll put a link in my um, description. And this is a man who spent a long time documenting these people. It's got a lot of links and a lot of sources that you can look at. And if you ever want to try looking at the people who are men's right activists, you don't have to look far, just look at Reddit and use a couple of search terms and you will find more than you ever want to read. Okay, that's all I want to talk to today, and that was Alphabet Soup. I'm hoping to do a couple more of these, not in a row, but I hope to do more in the future. If you like them, please let me know. Again, please like and subscribe to my video, and please don't hesitate to give me any comments that you have. Thank you.